good Monday morning prayer team. Thank you for joining with us here at the outset of a brand new week of morning prayer and devotion. I appreciate so very much each one of you who take the time each day to view these videos and to pray with us. Go ahead and post your, your prayer needs today and any praise reports that you might have um, as we go along here. I'm going to be reading this morning from the 20th Psalm, Psalm 20, verses 1 through 9. And it says, May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Selah. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation. In the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save, Lord. May the King answer us when we call. One of my favorite scriptures, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God, or we will remember the name of the Lord. Where is your trust this morning? Maybe it's not in horses or chariots, but perhaps your trust and confidence is in yourself, others, or in things. Some might be relying on material possessions, money, or skills. And as stable and as certain as these things might seem, it's possible that they will let you down someday. But I have good news this morning. While the things here on this earth might let us down, it is the Lord who gives victory. He is faithful to answer when we call, and he is more powerful than anything you could put your trust in on this earth. It's easy to trust when everything is going our way, but what about when things are difficult? Fear and hard times expose where our trust really is. What a he will answer you when you are in distress. He will lead you to victory, and he can be trusted. And so continue to trust in him this morning. I've often said that it is not possible to have enough money to insulate yourself against a true disaster. I've experienced that in my life. It doesn't matter how much you stockpile. You cannot place your trust in anything except the Lord. Just one illness can wipe out uh, years of savings. Just one uh, disaster in your family can wipe out many years of effort. But if you will trust in the Lord uh, in the good times and the bad times, he will see you through everything. So let's believe today that God is going to continue to work in all the things that we've been praying about. And let's lift up the needs that are on our hearts this morning. Lord Jesus, we thank you that we can trust in you. I thank you for this, another opportunity today, Lord, to come into your presence and to unload our hearts today, to bear our souls to you. And we just give you this day, Lord, we just renew our trust in you today. We renew, Lord, our commitment to let our hope only be in you today. Let your will be done, God. Move today. Hallelujah. Have your way in our lives. You see the prayers of your people that have been ascending up, Lord, before your throne. And we know that you're working things in your time and your way. Help us, God, not to become discouraged, not to become distressed when we don't see the evidence of the things that, that we are hoping for. But, and, but God, help us today to remember that our faith is the evidence of those things. And we're going to hold on to it until we see the answers come. Stretch forth your hand once again today. Heal the sick today. Hallelujah. Lord, touch those who are mentally uh, disturbed today. Those who are emotionally uh, stressed today, God. Those who have spiritual need. Our families, Lord, need you today, Lord, to move in the needs of our home. 
homes. And we give you the praise and the glory for what you're doing right now. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. You're guiding us this day. You're, you're guiding us this moment, God. And we give you the praise and the glory now and always. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, prayer team. If all goes according to plan, uh, we'll be on our way shortly uh, to the airport. Uh, please keep uh, the prayers going up for us for traveling mercies throughout the next several days. There will be pre-recorded devotions here for you each and every uh, weekday morning now through July the 6th. And uh, I look forward to uh, being a part of that with you. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here at 7.30 a.m.